and my energy as soon as my first attempt just died off. Fucking shat the bed on me because, you know, I'm sitting here like, God, stop it! I want to talk about something, but at the same time, it's just, it'd be nice if my energy ran out, didn't just fucking run out because, well, I'm sitting here, oddly enough, I made a whole rant about quote unquote energy me and put only put on Facebook. I didn't even bother to bother to like post that bit again for YouTube, so I don't know why I held back on it, which uh, I don't want to talk about energy again when I already had it for one video, so what was I trying to say? It's just I just wanna have fun, but it'd be nice if I didn't have this playstyle that is of being super conservative because I'm saying here, hmm Hmm. Well, look at the evolution of my having to like play conserve and whatnot, starting with the. Well, actually, actually, this bullshit actually had to, started with World at War, but I didn't even put put a dent into that game. I'm thinking, here, hmm, why are you playing the game like hmm, that way? Oh, it's because. Every, since every game, ever since the original COD 4, we had to have some form of alleviation bullshit and whatnot because every single game has some form, something to fuss about and whatnot. Because yeah, COD 4 had its fusses and whatnot because of the perks in the M16, but at least I was able to run around. I was able to run around in all the maps and whatnot. And then World at War was the beginning of why people had to start playing conservatively because those dumb fucks at Treyarch decided to put make the MP40 do 50 damage. Damage. I'm sitting here, and then then evolves to was it the original Modern Warfare 2 where what well, where the only reason we played conservatively was it all depended on the, how the map is shaped and whatnot, uh, and obviously. Obviously, per usual, every time I played Rust is that I have to fucking sit up here and, and that's where my boredom had to start. Like, come on now. As much as I'm playing it safe and whatnot, and then seeing that the attachment combo somehow turns the... Well, well once the skill-based matchmaking starts toning down is that it's Wrecking Shop as if it's the original 09 game. And fun times when people were complaining about that, but that's... Not it at all. And then Black Ops 1, the only reason people played conservatively to, was to alleviate the whole ghosting issue where, hmm, where should I plant my motion sensor? Or, oh, my whole t team is over there, so I'm just going to put it over here instead. And then, yeah, there you go. There's That's where half these assholes are. And then after that, pray that I get a fucking Blackbird in the, the lobby. Lobby. Let's see, then there's the original Modern Warfare 3, which, yeah, the original Modern Warfare 3, you're, yeah, you have to play, like, Leapfrog, pretty much, with the motion sensor, but even then, the whole assassin issue, and just lock down one area of the map, which, some, it might call it campy, though, but at the same time, it helps. That's how I was able to get some of the have matches where I was able being able to do well and actually and actually fucking defend the game because there's yeah to this day some of my friends still like have complaints about the game and whatnot on the original Modern Warfare 3 but then I'm sitting here defending it saying oh you just need to just bother to yeah that's actually that's actually my defiant of me defending it you know, saying oh you just gotta get good okay okay and then they just argue well I can't get good so and then I try to help them with by doing nothing but give them UAVs but that's not that, that's not helping but I don't know I digress and then last but not least is is Black Ops 2 where hmm once again like much like Modern Warfare 2 the original Modern Warfare 2 it's all reliant on how the map is shaped some maps I can run around with an SMG or a shotgun but then some maps I have to just sit back with the assault and whatnot, which kind of thing of the last I, I did make one vid where I kind of did run around with an assault, but at the same time, actually, actually no, 
There was only like one, uh, one, one gun I was able to run around on assault class and whatnot. So yeah, but anyway, and then all of a sudden there's ghost, where, uh, kind of kind of play it like the original Modern Warfare 3, but at the same time don't, which that got really boring really fast because not because of how horrible the maps are and the time to kill it is trans well not transferred copied and pasted so yeah that's all i gotta say and then obviously i went on a huge ass hiatus on not playing the series because i don't have the the xbox one nor the ps4 at the time because i didn't even go back to playing cod until Caught for remaster and Modern Warfare 19. Yeah, it wasn't until 2019 where I bothered to start playing again. Which, lo and behold, old half the shit that's on Caught for remaster does not imply I to the remaster. Thus, I'm just like, ah, God, fuck off, fuck off, game. And then Modern Warfare 19 through now, it's like, what was it? God, skill based matchmaking, fuck off! Well, actually, I kinda can get a brief moment because, what was it? Uh, Modern Warfare 19 was just just pure luck uh, if the skill based matchmaking was gonna tone down at, own at all. And then, and then, during my brief moment on playing Cold War on the beta and whatnot, it's basically playing like the first Black Ops where you just gotta put the motion sensor somewhere. Motion sensor ho somewhere and pray that they all go to your location without them knowing you. And then horribly Vanguard, it's kind of like that as well, but at the same time, it's like you just gotta pray that... Jesus. Well, actually, no. It's like, just... I during the time period when I played the Vanguard beta, it's just all I did was use the motion sensor, but but everyone on YouTube from all the videos I've seen, it's a that all, almost everyone uses dead drop spike and pray that they eventually get dogs. Which that's funny. Those were a bit bit of a mediocre mediocre well, not medi mediocrity. And then then was it Modern Warfare? 22 where what was it yeah once you get the motion sensor just strategically place out a spot and then pray that the skill based matchmaking and the packet burst doesn't fucking kick in it doesn't kick in and whatnot then fast forward to now which you know what uh just start reverse boosting enough is enough with all the bullshit when when it comes to trying to play conservatively so yeah which, that reminds me, the previous fucking attempt was, uh, I was gonna explain how. Well, explain... Wait, explain how, uh, I'm starting to reverse boost because I have two consoles to play it on. And I'm just using it as a dummy account. Well, using a dummy account and showing how much of a night and day difference uh, this stupid game is. But, am I gonna defend Modern Warfare 3? 3? Obviously no, because it's just... I'm sitting here, did I really have to do this? Yes and no, but... I mean, you know, and on top of that, you know, when it comes down to the subject of reverse boosting, I'm just gonna admit it. Oh, well, actually, I just did admit it, so... Yeah, that's all I gotta say. And also, and, and... Do I give a shit that people are gonna call me out? No, because I'm not popular. Unless somehow my videos start exploding in views.